Bill Gowdy checking in. We're at the gun range. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I've watched a lot of videos on the YouTube. Yeah, I sure have. And uh, I've been watching a few uh, older ones and a few uh, barbecue ones. I saw some barbecue gun ones. Oh, that gave me an idea. Why not have a barbecue at the gun range? And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw on a couple deer burgers and uh, I have some fresh brats. Uh, I think they're Johnsonville brats. And uh, I'm going to cook them up. My friend gave me this grill and he works for a uh, utility company. And uh, at one time they were able to um, use the grill uh, for their lunches or when they had to stay somewhere overnight uh, the company outlawed it. The company said it wasn't safe. Uh, I said well I, you know he asked me if I would like to have the grill I said hey why not. So I happen to have some charcoal left over from my uh, Texas trip. Yep. Uh, when I went to uh, I went to Bass Pro Shop and uh, I used some of the charcoal. So I'm going to use the charcoal in a grill. I, I think I could use regular wood to make my own charcoal, but uh, hey, I got a little left over. Let's use it. So I'm going to have a couple of brats. Actually, I'm going to make uh, more than I can eat. Uh, I don't know what the weather is going to do, but I like the brats uh, cold. Actually, I like them cold better. So uh, I'm thinking uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day I'll have some brats. And I just as soon cook them all while I got a fire going. So, And while the fire's going and while those are cooking, I'm going to do some shooting. Check it out. So while the charcoal is getting ready, these are the two guns I'm going to shoot. Yeah, this is my old standby right here. The old Ruger Mark II target pistol with a bull barrel. It's a short bull barrel, but I, and it's got target uh, grip on it. And I sure do like it. I've had it for, man, many, many, many years. Yep, yeah, it's a nice gun. And then I dug this out of the closet. I haven't uh, shot this for a while. It had a, this is a uh, 1077. Uh, it's a 77 caliber. It's got a 3x9 Daisy power line scope on it. And uh, you put your CO2 in here. It's got the nylon or the synthetic stock on it. It's been around a long time I've had it. And it had a CO2 in it, but I couldn't get it out. A quick, I, what I did, but screwed this in just slightly and give it a good couple good wraps on there and that CO2 cartridge came loose. Yep, and it's ready for a new a new CO2 cartridge. It has a cross bolt safety and it has a detachable magazine. And what I like about this is semi-automatic. Yep, semi-automatic. What I don't like about it is CO2. Yep. Yeah, it costs you a little more to operate it. And once you put a CO2 in, you should use it. And then, as I found out, you don't want to leave an empty CO2 in it. It's difficult to get out. But I haven't shot it for a while. Let's uh, put some targets up and shoot it. Yeah, it looks like our charcoal is getting almost ready. Let's get the uh, tongs out and adjust them. So out of the pellet gun, we're going to be using the uh, Copperhead Crossman, a 177 caliber super match. Yep, we'll give those a try. So I put some foil on there and poked some holes in it. Yeah, it's not the best, but you know what? It's clean.
make that look work, work like a smoker. What do you think? I got a target stapled up down there. It's a 50 yard small bore rifle target. And uh, that's what we're going to shoot at. And uh, like I said, I got a 3x9 scope on there. So we'll tune it in. I don't know. I haven't shot it for a while. We'll see if it's uh, uh, sighted in or not. So I'm going to take a couple offhand shots here, and uh, I haven't, like I said, I haven't shot this in quite a while. Let's just see if it's sighted in. Yeah, not too bad. Let's see what she'll do on a target. He's doing here. Looks like shooting a little bit low left. You know, <clears throat> there's not much recoil on this kind of pellet gun. There is not much at all. Um, but when you uh, when you're talking about one of those adult spring guns, I think I, I'm not sure how many feet per second this shoots. It's uh, around 500 or, or maybe just a little less. And of course, that's when it's a new, with a new CO2. And I can already tell that the CO2 is getting low. Yep. I guess that's what it's all about, having a semi-automatic. The uh, trigger pull isn't as smooth as, the, uh, as that Beeman. Uh, this is the target I'm going to shoot with the... Uh, Ruger 22 pistol. Yep, that's Boneyard Bill. I thought that was pretty fitting. Yeah, I sure did. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. I don't know if you can read that or not. It's hard for me to see with the sun in my back, but uh, yep. See what kind of groups we get with that pistol. new term for tailgating isn't it that is awesome it really is yeah not too bad but not bad nice group oh man look at that cheese all melted Look at this. Yeah. That is, uh, and this bread is uh, sprouted, sprouted seed, and it's not high, uh, not high glycemic. It's organic. Yep. I think it has a high carb count, but it's uh, complex carbs. It's, it's not a uh, single carb, not a simple carb. So this is that Ezekiel bread, and this actually, they make buns, but I haven't found them. I haven't found them in my area. But these are actually, uh, this is a uh, English, English muffin, but I tell you what, it's just a little more condensed, but it definitely definitely tastes like a hamburger bun to me they don't, I don't make a hot dog bun so uh, I just use bread for the bratwurst I have used bread before the, for the hamburgers as well now you can see that that's not quite as thick 
as the regular ketchup, but it's just as good. Will you look at that? Man, oh man, does that look good? Let's dig in, shall we? Alright, let's dig into that brat first. Man, that looks good. I like that cooker. There's a place for that. Especially in the spring when we, when we do a lot of bank fishing. Mm. Wow. Oh. Man, look at that. Isn't that good? Oh. Mm. That is awesome. Good fryer is straight. I got mine. Yeah. I don't mix uh I don't mix uh a bush beer and gun video. Yeah, besides that, you know, I'm, I'm counting my carbs, so. Yeah, I'm having a diet Pepsi. Yeah, far and few between, but I have them. All right, let's have a bite of this burger. Let's see what this burger is all about. Shall we? Look at that. Will you look at that? Mmm. Wow. Man, oh man, is that good. That is awesome. I sure had fun. I hope you did too. I appreciate all the subs. Man, I appreciate, I appreciate all the comments. That is just outstanding. Bill Gaddy out. Bill Gaddy really out this time.